Welcome to Coal Outdoors. Today, I'm going to give you eight tips for fishing seawalls and riprap. Stay tuned. I'm going to help you catch more fish. Seawalls will hold fish year round. It's important that you understand how to fish it. These eight tips will help you catch more fish no matter when in the year. The first tip is doormat. It's the doormat. And when, I mean, when I talk about doormat, I mean the grass that meets the wall. That creates like a doormat. And that is a great spot to find big bass, especially on the deep side. Always start from the deep edge and work your way in. Tip two, give a seawall a hug. Hug that seawall. Parallel the boat with it and parallel the bait. Right along there, make as long a cast as you can. And I always start with a hard bait. And then after I fish along the length of it with a hard bait, I'll switch to a grub, a drop shot, or something plastic to catch the fish I didn't catch with the hard bait. Tip number three, in the fall, look for riprap. It's a great place to find schools of bait fish. When you find the bait fish, you find a big bass. Also, use your crankbaits along the edge, along uh, along bridges and that kind of areas. That is a good place to start. So we're gonna go to tip four. Hit the high water spots. When the water goes up, you need to think about fishing vertical. And think while well, thinking that bass are going to gravitate towards the wood or concrete. Operate as if the bass are going to be as close to that boat as as possible, and keep that in mind when you're making a cast or in deciding where you want to fish. Tip five: Parallel park on the on the wall. Boat positioning when you're doing this is critical. Make sure you can control your boat because you don't want to hit that wall because it's going to damage your boat. Remember to try to keep your boat at least 15 feet away from the wall. But you can, with 15 feet, you can make a long cast up along the edge of that thing. Use your seven and a half foot pole and you can get pretty close to that wall and you will catch big fish doing this. Yeah, and the reason why I say keep it, it part, part parallel and work your way up, that keeps your bait in the strike zone as long as possible. Tip six, go looking for that riffraff. And when you find it, your boat control is, is critical. Once again, you want to keep your boat at least 15 feet away from that riffraff because it will damage your boat. So make long casts and fish it as thoroughly as you can. Tip seven, look for the break. When you're fishing along seawalls or the riffraff, there's a break out there and sometimes that is where the biggest fish are holding up. So go out there and look, because you might be able to find it. Well, one way you can do both at the same time is stay out in the deep water and cast into the shallow and work your way over it. Because sometimes that's how you're going to catch them. You'll figure out where they are and be able to find them a lot faster by doing this. Now, tip eight, your last tip. Know about where prep. Understand what is beneath the surface of the water and look for irregular features. Some places that you're going to find your regular beaches and river is going to be tree lines, creeks, bridges that cross channels and ditches. This has been Derek Cole of Cole Outdoors. Thank you for watching Cole Outdoors today. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share my video. Until next time, I am your host, Derek Cole. Later.